And welcome to Flash and Friends. I'm the Flash Man, the beautiful Roxanne Wilder, right over here. Hey, Roxy, how are Hi, you? Hey, Flash, what's going on? Oh, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Hey, love that outfit. I almost wore the same thing. I'm glad I didn't because then we'd have had to we have that. We need to call uh, each other in the morning and coordinate, make sure we're not mm-hmm. wearing the same outfit. Yeah. Yes. And uh, yeah, if, if I had, you know, Bill had the solution who wore it to best. It. All right, we'd have had to have a, uh, a, a impromptu who wore it best contest yes. right here. I think mm-hmm. we know who would have won. Hmm. Well, well, you Flash know. Will... Oh, no. Play a mean game of wearing it well. <laughs> hey, you know, speaking of wearing it well, uh, great uh, Halloween costume contest out of Dubai last week. Oh, really? We had what, Marilyn. What were you dressed as? I went uh, just as the standard old pirate thing. Okay. But uh, Marilyn you a lot Monroe. Of pirate garb. Yeah, have mm-hmm. some pirate garb on my person. Uh, the Marilyn Monroe mm-hmm. and the Scarecrow <gasps> were the two winners of the 500 oh, cash cool. and prizes. But a great time uh, out at Club Dubai, and we'll do it again. Well, not a costume contest, but we'll do the Saturday night dance party again this uh, this Saturday night. Me Love and Matt Debrat. Hey, you know, jumping right into some crazy stories. Uh, there's been some crazy things happening, and I guess, I'm not sure if this happened on Halloween or not, but uh, evidently in Nebraska, mm-hmm. I posted this story up on our, on our Facebook page. Have you been there? Page. I have not been. I've been to Lincoln, Nebraska. Uh, have you? Omaha, Nebraska as well. Well, well this was Omaha. Uh, this 33-year-old lady decided that she was going to have a few cocktails mm-hmm. and uh, uh, sneak into the zoo and pet a tiger. Great idea. Do you great think that's idea. a great idea? Mm-hmm. I oh wonder how gosh. that... Nothing could go wrong there. No, Wait, I, I not mean, at all. Did she know what a tiger is? Did she know... <laughs> I mean, uh, have you been to, what is the Tiger Sanctuary? I can't think of it right now, but you know what? Big Cat Rescue. Big big Uh, Cat Rescue. rescue. Have you been there before? No. One of Walk around uh, Big Cat Rescue or Bush Gardens, anywhere, and get nice and close up to the cage and Mm -hmm. take a look at those animals Mm -hmm. and know that they will maul you if they didn't have the bars between you and them. And guess what happened when she stuck her hand in to pet the, the, uh, the big cat? Not something good. No, it took half her hand off, evidently. <laughs> and then she was belligerent when she got oh to gosh. the hospital to get help. But evidently, they're saying that she could lose a part of her hand if she hasn't already. Oh, my gosh. That's so, sad. But, uh, you know, that is one of those all things. It's all funny you... games till somebody loses. It's all know. funny games till somebody starts serving tequila. <gasps> <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Poor judgment is... The understatement. Yeah, in that finger situation. foods. I concur on that one. Oh my goodness! What you got? Well, over I want to switch gears a little bit and talk about Uber mm-hmm. because you know the prices. You know the surge pricing. Have you ever heard about that when the prices go up on Uber? Mm-hmm. There's a new algorithm, or I should say, they've investigated the algorithm and the way to avoid surge pricing on Uber. The surge pricing only lasts like five or ten minutes. Uh-huh. I I took an Uber by the way. I don't know if I told you guys when I was in New York from the New Jersey airport to uh, to the city, and it was. So expensive. So there's always really? that thought that Uber is cheaper. It's not always cheaper, especially when surge pricing is going on. But surge pricing only lasts between five and ten minutes. Uh-huh. So if you call your Uber or if you order your Uber and you notice it's surge pricing, wait five minutes, wait ten minutes, Can and you it cancel? will go. Right, Boop. right. You just you just have to. Yeah, yeah. However, the app works. I've used it a couple times. Uh-huh. I usually am with someone who's using it. But in any case, it is away in five or ten minutes. So don't let surge pricing get you. Don't so, let that scare you. Speaking of Uber, Lyft, we don't have Lyft here, right? We don't have Lyft here. I haven't seen it. I have no idea. I don't think so. No, we don't. I don't think we do. We might. I, I don't know. I to use okay. either car service. I haven't used Lyft. Sorry, Lyft, if it's here in Tampa. So yeah. we'll have to figure that out. In I've any only case, used it twice. It never had happened to a me. Wo- a woman thinks that her Lyft driver was kidnapping her because he was deaf and she didn't realize he was deaf, so she kept talking to him, and he wasn't saying anything. Oh, man. And she thought, this <laughs> guy's kidnapping me, and she jumped out of the car and broke her ankle. Are you serious? That is so something I would do. I'm so paranoid. <laughs> I would completely do something like that. Like, I've been, anytime I'm on a plane, and it, and it has to do one of those emergency landings, or not emergency, but, you know, goes down and then goes back up. Does I'm that like, happen to you often? No, Rock? twice it has. Because I'm not. Not often, but twice it has, where it's starting to go down, yeah. and then it zips back up. And what happens, the pilot is, they're scrambling up there. I talked to a flight attendant about this, and she yeah. said, well, what's happening when is, is they were supposed to land. They probably just saved your life by zipping back up because maybe the runway was too crowded. What, maybe mm-hmm. they're coming in too hot, whatever right. it was. And then they're back up in the air. And so they don't have time to get on the intercom system and say, all right, calm down, everybody. Calm they don't down, have time we're coming to do in that. hot. Right. They, they, they're <laughs> scrambling. Again. So in that, like, five-minute period where they're figuring out what their next game plan is going to be, I'm in my head like, we're kidnapped. We're going to South America. We're <laughs> going to be sell- sold as a sex slavery. I always think the worst thing. I totally would have jumped out of the car and thought I was being kidnapped. You sure do, Rox. My it's goodness. A, the imagination is. We're coming sometimes in Sometimes it's hot. a good thing. Sometimes yes, it's not. you have a wild imagination. 
Oh, Wilder. my goodness. And, and I do think I'm a little bit too old to be sold into sex slavery, by the way. So, yeah, that's yeah. probably a bad I'm guess. I'm sure we're all thinking that. <laughs> <laughs> I know I was. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hey, speaking of coming in hot, <laughs> <laughs> Roxanne Wilder. Oh, Trekkies. Uh, Star Trek is coming back, evidently, in 2017. Uh, CBS Television Studios uh, made that announcement last week um, that the series is going to be coming back. Well, one of the catches is it's going to be coming back only, like, on their Internet stations or on their, you know, where they're, where they're streaming. They're going to do the streaming thing. Like Netflix so or... Like Netflix or, or, yeah, where you can, you know, log on mm-hmm. to the, uh, the, the CBS channel, I guess it were. Uh, so I, I, from, I, from what I understand, I was a little unclear. They might show like the first episode, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but then all the rest of the, uh, just as a little teaser. And then oh, the right. rest of the episodes are going to, uh, to be released like on the, uh, on the network, on the channel. So imagined. if you have like a, you know, like I have the Roku device. That are you I, guys Trekkie fans? Oh, I love Star Trek. Really? I wasn't at first. 50-50. Yeah. I, okay. I wasn't at first. And, and you know what it was? I think it was the next generation mm-hmm. with, uh, Sean Luc Picard. I like him. Yeah. And then I started going back and watching the older ones. And then after, you know, now that, um, um, what the hell's Kirk's name? Captain. Captain. Yeah, Captain. <laughs> Captain, Captain Morgan Kirk. Kirk. <laughs> yeah, him. Um, God, why can't I think of his name? What's his Shatner. name? Bill Shatner. Shatner. William, William Shatner. Shatner. That I've seen now. He's gotten so old and cocky. Bill. Bill should know. Go ahead. Yeah. Now that's gotten so old. Bill and, should know. He's gotten so old and cocky. Yes. I, I like going back and seeing the, the older episodes. Yeah, like the older episodes are what I like because they're so campy, you, and yeah, they really are. Yeah, you, you kind of see where he came mm-hmm. from, and it's kind of mm-hmm. funny that way. I so it. that's that's, that's kind of cool. But but I would imagine most of their audience is already on the computer. Yeah. So it's probably a, a win-win for them because their audience won't have to get up and actually go in front of a TV. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, you never You're know. Right. So we'll see how Good that point. works out. Uh, and I guess if it fails, then maybe they put it on the network, right. uh, the network channel. Who fails. knows? But uh, I'm sure that the the Trekkie fans. Uh, are, are going to be excited for that. And you'll be logging day. on and watching, too. It sounds like, mm-hmm. speaking of free time, mm-hmm. doing things you enjoy in your free time, did you know that the average person only gets an hour a day of free time with their family or quality family time? Which I is a bummer, but I could totally see that. Yeah. That's, I mean, because you've got your, like, getting ready time. Mm-hmm. So if you want to call that quality time, I don't know that you really can. Yeah. Probably not really, not. no. But yeah. you know, with this day and age, I mean, everybody is is moving. Everybody, in, and now that mom and dad and whoever else in the family half the time have to work to to make ends meet just to keep a roof over your head, yeah, that sucks a lot of time away from family. Only one in three families eat dinner together every single night. Wow. That doesn't surprise me. I remember as a kid, my sister and I were always on the go. We always had activities, activities, activities. Right. So we were always eating in the car, McDonald's in the car. Mm-hmm. I mean... No that's kidding. that's not. Cha- I mean, that doesn't surprise me one I was, bit. I was the one in three because I know we, you know, my little Sat Chinese down. mom was cooking. But you oh, know, again, nice. again, sign of the times. Because mm-hmm. my mom was uh, an at home, stay home mom. My dad worked, and we had dinner every night at the, you know, sure. five six o'clock. And sure. my dad, when I was a, when I was a kid, my dad could do the whistle. I don't know how he did it. That come to the dinner table. And it was I like could, a dinner bell. I could, yeah, I could be anywhere in my neighborhood, and I could hear that over everything. And I'd be marching my butt home. Ran, too. ran back I, to the barn. That exactly. Mm-hmm. That meant I needed. I had fifteen Can't minutes. Can't turn back. Yeah, I had <laughs> fifteen to minutes to get home. Or uh, yeah, if we weren't having dinner together, they were waiting on me, and it was a bad thing. That's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Well, we just have a few more minutes until our next guest is going to roll on in here. Yeah, my good buddy Bill Merchant from Easter Seals is coming in, and we'll talk to him coming up next right here on Flash and Friends. Y'all stay with us. This segment is powered by TampaBayNightlife.tv, Tampa Bay's video entertainment guide and home of Tampa Bay's top 20 things to do with a new show every Friday. Hey, it's the Flashman. Join us this Saturday night as we broadcast the Saturday Night Dance Party live at Club Dubai. Join me and Matt the Brad as we mix all of your favorite dance music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. The first 105 people get hooked up with a free Q-Teeny. Ladies, you're in free till 10 p.m. with $3 Q-Teenies all night. The Saturday Night Dance Party live at Club Dubai. Doors open at 9 p.m. Club Dubai, 3849 Northdale Boulevard in Carrollwood. For VIP and table reservations, call 813 502 30 237. Flash and Friends is powered by Extra Medium Productions, your high definition full service production studio. Call 727 584 4500. Extramedium.com. Hey, welcome.
Welcome back to the show. It's Flash and Friends, and uh, we've got uh, one of uh, one of my good buddies in the studio with us right now, uh, and he has become a part of something that has actually been a, a become a very big part of his life. He's with uh, with Easter Seals now, and let me ask you something. It, it's my my good buddy. Uh, I keep wanting to call him Guido because that's what we call him out when we're singing karaoke. But it's Bill Merchant. Thanks, thanks for letting everyone know now. <laughs> Everybody knows. Oh yeah, that's right. I guess uh, the Easter Seals folks, uh, the corporate people, will be watching this. So remember when you when you see Bill Merchant, it's Guido on the side. But anyway, great uh, great organization. We got to uh, be a part of the walk, the annual walk here in Tampa a couple of weeks ago. Great success with that too, man. Oh, it was a lot of fun. I mean, it was a large crowd. I mean, I think we had over two hundred people. Uh, I just had a wrap up call actually this morning, yeah. and there were some uh, some great words about the radio stations uh, nice. being present. And uh, there was an MC that they they really liked. They liked how how natural that uh, our MC was for the event. That Roxanne is great. No, it wasn't me. <laughs> I wish, yeah. <laughs> no, you know what? I I have a great time. The first year you invited me out, and and uh, we went out there, set up the sound. I thought we were going to do. I thought you were calling me out for a karaoke gig, but it turned out to be way better. I mean, we had such a good time, and it's so cool to see all of your sponsors and all the people that get behind uh, uh, the Easter Seals and and what you guys are about. And speaking of that, you know, I wanted to kind of dive into that a little bit because somebody was asking me what I was doing. I said, "Well, I'm going out to support the Easter Seals," and I go, "Well, it's not Easter. Do you get that a lot?" Uh, we do actually, I do get that a lot. Well, it's a funny lot. because you don't, I mean, a lot of people when they hear, hear Easter Seals, they don't know anything that it's about. And it's such a great nonprofit organization. I, and, and I agree. I happen to agree. Uh, and, and the Easter part is, is really simple is back a hundred years or so ago, the organization was founded as the uh, National Association uh, of Crippled Children. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so through the years, they had various uh, fundraising events, and one of them happened to be this little stamp with an Easter lily on it. Mm-hmm. And that gotcha. was about in the 50s, and that became one of their most popular uh, fundraising events. And right. so people associated the Easter lily seal I gotcha. with, with the organization, and the organization changed names to Easter uh, Easter seals. With their so signature we, event. So we want to be clear. They need your help, and they they want you to volunteer and be a part of this year-round, not just at Easter time. Oh, <laughs> exactly, exactly. And it's non-religious affiliated whatsoever, too, right? Because they think Easter seals, oh, it's a Christian organization. Sure. No, sure. it's not even as if it's a YMCA. That's now the Y because it's it's across all. Uh, exactly. Well, I had an idea of what, what it was about when I first went and met you over at the Easter seals, which is here locally, right off of Hillsboro. It's It's... Kind of what what area of town is it in? Would you call that? It's not really well, East, West Tampa. Sort of East, East Tampa. East Tampa. We're we're right on the line of East right Central. Line. East Central. We're East Central. Tampa. Okay. And so I kind of knew a little bit about what I was getting into, but it was just one of the best days I ever had going to meet those kids. Oh, I mean, awesome. it really, really was. And I want to get back there and do some volunteering and things like that because I. I so let's first talk about what it is that Easter Seals does. Well, great. Well, here in town, I'll, I'll speak specifically here mm-hmm. in the Tampa Bay area, right? So our, our largest program we have is what we call our Child Development Center. Uh, and what we do is we focus on uh, children, newborn, up to five years old. We have a seven-week-old, as a matter of fact, with us right now. Uh, and we're truly a child development center. We're not, uh, we're not a daycare. Right. There's actually curriculum-based. Each individual child has their own development plan. Uh, and uh, these are children... From, uh, from various backgrounds. Uh, they're 97% of our kids are on the free or reduced lunch program. Uh, we have about, of our 180 or so children, 25% have been medically diagnosed with some type of disability or mm-hmm. special need. My goodness. Uh, some of them are too young to be medically diagnosed, but there's actually, you know, there's some visual delays that we can see. So you're talking 40 to 50% of the kids that come with, to us uh, have some type of special need or disability. Uh, and the nice part about it all, too, is that we all, they're all in the same classroom. Mm-hmm. So it's not as if we're segregating the kids with the disabilities all in one room, but the typically developing child might be right next to someone with, say, uh, Down syndrome or some you know, speech delays or something of that nature. There are some medical issues. You know, some of those children are born with different developmental disabilities and different, you know, whether or not they're Down syndrome, whatever the case may be. And then I learned something very valuable uh, when I was doing the tour pertaining to vocabulary and how important that is for children to have a rich vocabulary and learning in terms of their developmental stages. So if they're in a home where maybe the parents don't spend a lot of time with them, maybe they're working too many jobs, that that can actually cause more problems for those children in terms of how they're developing. Correct, and that's where the the delay comes Mm -hmm. in, right? So you have those parents that are really struggling to make ends meet, and they're working 
18 hour days, whether it's yeah. two to three mm-hmm. jobs, and they may not have that time to interact with the right. child, right? So the vocabulary is not there. So there might be a child that's delayed. So what's nice is that our development center, we have, uh, we, we partner with Independent Living Inc. And mm-hmm. they, they help us with uh, physical, occupational, and speech therapists that come in and help our children that need it. Mm-hmm. And so you have, uh, it's great. There's, as a matter of fact, two stories that just happened this week was mm-hmm. a dad came to pick up his, uh, his two-year-old. And as he, picked, as he uh, came to pick her up, he said, I heard her say hello oh, the other wow. day for the first time. For the first uh-huh. time. The teacher oh said, God. oh, she's been saying that for a while. But it was right. the first time dad heard her say hello, wow. which is really nice. And then another young child, was uh, we were streaming some music uh, for them to dance to. And mm-hmm. this three-year-old, uh, it, was, it was waiting a while to stream something about service in, in our building. And uh, the child said, give it a minute. <laughs> and the teacher looks at me and says, he's never said a complete sentence oh before. Oh, my gosh. Wow. And this is a person, this is a child that I know that every week goes in for his speech therapy. Right. And Give so he said, minute. give me a minute. That's oh great. My thought, wow. That's and it was great. very clear, and I understood exactly mm-hmm. what it was. So there was that milestone of that. And and, and I was, I, I, it was just an honor to hear it. I was right. excited. It was, I was ecstatic to know that, that part of what we're doing at Easter Seals helped with that develop those development you stages. see the progress firsthand you have absolutely. a front row seat for that absolutely and you know it's one of those things where i said at the beginning it's it's now something that has really become a, a part of bill's life and you know bill and i run together we hang together we sing karaoke together we're 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 out in the in the public being boys together and stuff but i actually when i went to visit i saw a complete other side of my right? of my buddy Guido. Oh wow! Let me tell you, it was an amazing thing, and not just him, but see, I need to see the other side, but, the Guido side. But Ooh. everybody there, uh, when 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 Bill walked into the room, just to see all of those kids, just oh, they swarmed him. Swarmed him. He's like it Peter was, Pan. Yeah, was, yeah. I thought he could fly or something or like Piper. that. But Which character is it? I, I yes. think Peter Pan Both probably. Of them. But it, but but um, but it was it was an amazing Peter Panish Bill. It, it was an I'll amazing thing to see because it you know it, it, and just the 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 love and the caring mm-hmm. uh, and everything about everything in that building. No doubt, it was just an amazing thing and an amazing feeling that that you know once you see it, mm-hmm. uh, you can't not want to help. I know. You know what I mean. And, and, and that's a great testament to our leadership and staff too. Is that yeah. they actually take the time day in and day out. They're not asking the kids to do something and then leave, leaving them to do it, Mm-mm. they're interacting. So there's an adult interaction. There's mm-hmm. that communication mm-hmm. as well as that inclusiveness of the, the, the kids of all developmental stages together sure. and learning from each other. Sure. Amazing. So right. what do you guys need as far as, uh, uh, you know, as far as awareness and, and from the public? Uh, 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 what are the things that, that you need at Easter well, Seals? You nailed it right away as, as far as awareness, right? I mean, Easter Seals has been an organization around for almost 100 years nationally. Mm-hmm. In Tampa, it's been around for nearly 70 years. Right. But people don't realize what we do and, and, and where we are. I right. think the best way to learn about it is to go. Absolutely. Oh, without it, doubt. It, it, makes, mm-hmm. it makes all the difference because we can sit here and we can talk about it all mm-hmm. we want. But it's not until you actually witness it yourself firsthand mm-hmm. to, to see uh, what we have. And, you know, we're all about helping the kids and the veterans, man. And, right. and this is a great, great organization, a great way to do it. And, I, you know, just out of the hole, you know, with, you know, clearing things up with the name and, and how it goes. Because I've heard of Easter Seals right. all my life, it seems like, but never really knew what it was about. I thought it was just, you know, something that came around once a year or something right. like that. But. Wow, now that, uh, you know, I've been able to experience it. I mean, and really, it is an experience. Everybody that I've known that you've invited to go over and visit come back and say, wow, did you see Bill with the kids? And it was just an amazing thing. And it really is. I, I mean, that's the mm-hmm. way I can expo- ex- express it as an experience exactly. to go and check that out. Yeah. And Easter Seals great, too, because really community-driven. So mm-hmm. Easter, I'm part of Easter Seals, Florida, which is 47 of the 60 counties throughout Florida. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And as an example, Winter Park, we have an adult day center. Winter Park, there's a need for that and the drive right. for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, in Palm Beach, we have a program similar to what we have here in Tampa with a development center. So, so it's, it's based upon the community. Really, that it really exists what the community and, needs mm-hmm. are, and we really try to assess it, right? And so for us here, you know, our largest program is our school readiness. Mm-hmm. We're, we're really preparing those children for their next developmental stage mm-hmm. in school. What are their volu- What are the volunteer opportunities? Mm-hmm. So we have several volunteer mm-hmm. opportunities. You know, if you have time during the day, it's always great to come and, and sit with the kids and read to the kids as a class or individually play with the kids in general. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's always good for fine motor skills and things of that nature. That's always wonderful. We also have uh, two major uh, events that we hold for fundraising each year that we always appreciate volunteers for. Sure. One is our walk, which just happened 
uh, two weeks ago, mm-hmm. which we always let volunteers to come and help set up and do all that. And uh, our second event happens in February, which is our uh, Ladies Lunch and a Pair to Remember it was event. Fun. Roxanne, we did that last year. That uh, that always we can use some help with, uh, you know, again with the setup and things mm-hmm. of that nature. So those are the great volunteer opportunities that we have. And then occasionally there's one-offs that come up and, and things of that nature. Sure. Uh, but those are the big and the greatest. And, and usually people really like the, the one-on-one with the children and, or the oh, group I bet. setting. I bet. But absolutely. Mm-hmm. The teachers like it too. Well, so yeah, far, it gives them a little break. Yes. Our, our folks here on the web that are watching us uh, this afternoon or whenever you might be watching, how can they uh, get some information uh, off the web? They can visit www.easterseals.com slash Florida. All right. Good stuff, man. Well, listen, buddy, thank you so much for coming in and sharing. And we definitely want to, uh, to, to do more stuff with you in the future and uh, talk about the event you got coming up and how we can help out for mm-hmm. sure. Great. No well, doubt. I thank you both no for doubt. giving me the opportunity to be hey, here, Hey, when too. we it's come great. back, we're going to do a little restaurant review, Bill and I. So if you live in the West Chase area or you venture over there, we're going to tell you all the best restaurants to go to. You too, Flash, when um, you come in our neighborhood. Don't think I won't. We'll be right back. Don't move. This segment is powered by TampaBayNightlife.tv, Tampa Bay's video entertainment guide and home of Tampa Bay's top 20 things to do with a new show every Friday. Hey, it's the Flashman. Join us this Saturday night as we broadcast the Saturday Night Dance Party live at Club Dubai. Join me and Matt DeBrat as we mix all of your favorite dance music from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. The first 105 people get hooked up with a free Q-Teeny. Ladies, you're in free till 10 p.m. with $3 Q-Teenies all night. The Saturday Night Dance Party live at Club Dubai. Doors open at 9 p.m. Club Dubai, 3849 Northdale Boulevard in Carrollwood. For VIP and table reservations, call 813 502 3237. Flash and Friends is powered by Extra Medium Productions, your high definition full service production studio. Call 727 584 4500. ExtraMedium.com. Hey, and welcome back to Flash and Friends. Uh, Bill Mertz is still with us from Easter Seals. You know, one of the things that we. we you know, we're, we're talking about is a lot of the sponsorship uh, opportunities that you have there. You, you got some uh, some folks you want to say hi to? Oh, absolutely. Well, you know, a lot of what we do comes from the corporate environments and not only individuals, but the corporations mm-hmm. as well. But we certainly have great partners that we have uh, mm-hmm. in the community from a restaurant sure. base as well. Yeah. And uh, I can tell you that uh, both Ceviche and Rococo mm-hmm. are great, wonderful supportive of, our, of ours. I have never been to Rococo. I've been dying to go there. You've Let's been, go. right? Yeah. Have you been? Shoot, yeah. Me and Bill go all the time. In St. Petersburg. <laughs> it's it supposed is. to be amazing. It is. That, that's what I've heard. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll be honest. You I, been. I can't say I've been to okay, I've well, been to need, Ceviche and St. Pete and in, and in Tampa, so yes. that, I've been to both of those. Sounds like we got to pay um, some places, some visits. The new Yeomans Cask and Lion in downtown Tampa as well. Matter of fact, they're having a wonderful hockey season program for us. Is that each month they pick a player, right? Mm-hmm. And they put in, I believe it's twenty five dollars for every goal that player uh, makes in that wow. month. Hey, no. oh, perfect. So and it goes throughout the season. Go lightning. So wow. last month was uh, Stamkos. Mm-hmm. This month is uh, Kuch Kucherov, uh-huh. who mm-hmm. scored a goal last night. So nice. I got excited to see that. So nice. Uh, I'm even more that's, excited to watch lightning hockey yeah. and, that's and cool. see things yeah, like that's that. Awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, and so the wonderful folks over there uh, take care of us. And then uh, soon to be coming to St. Petersburg, but that's also a big support of ours in Orlando right now, is a place called Hawkers. It's Asian mm. Street Fair. Okay. And uh, eventually they should be opening up over down by Ferg's, whatever street that is down that way. Gotcha. I see. Uh, they anticipated an opening this month, but I think they're pushing it to about February. Wow. But uh, I've heard some amazing things about, about Hawkers uh, there. As a matter of fact, that... We have uh, board members and committee members from those restaurants uh-huh. that, that assist us throughout the state. So oh, nice. that's how those, those partnerships were wonderful. That's awesome. That's good stuff. Uh, well, you okay. know, these guys have a little bit more in common uh, than, than mm-hmm. their, their living environment. And uh, speaking of restaurants and eating and whatnot, uh, they were talking a little bit off. So, and I, and I kind of got interested in, in hearing uh, some of your reviews on some of the places over in the so West you Chase two, area. So you two aren't in the West Chase area, so Mm-mm. maybe you are, maybe you aren't. Mm-hmm. But if you want to get Bill's and my tips for what the best places are to dine in the West Chase area, you're about out, to. we're about to tell you. So so run down your top three. Oh, my top three. Mm-hmm. Well, it's easy. For, walking distance, right? So I have my five-year-old, so we love to be oh, able to walk cute. places and do sure. things. So she certainly loves to go Burger 21. I love Burger 21. That you is know, my Thursday night after the RX for Love and Success that's where I go. I go straight to Burger 21 so Burger every 20. Thursday night. That's where you, we would run into there, each other if it was perfect. Thursday night. There we mm-hmm. go. 
There Who we knew? go. Who Bur- knew? So yeah. Burger Twenty One yeah, is invited if you want to. Is always a fan the favorite. She's uh, not. She's not a big meat eater, so mm-hmm. she always likes mm-hmm. the turkey burger. Or, mm-hmm. You know, things of that that nature. So delicious. Uh, that's always good. Um, what else do I like? Oh, I like the Surf Shack. Surf which Shack is, is great. Uh, which yes. is down the road over there by uh, country, like Countryway and mm-hmm. Lineby area. By Publix. Uh, again, my daughter no, no, favorite no. feasting place of my daughter as well. They have really good tortillas that they do like with different fish dishes and rice and stuff. Good right. stuff. Yeah, yes. And they have a bunch of specials. Glad you reminded me of Surf Shack. I haven't been there in a while. I need to go. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been in a while. Smart. Their house smart. Me neither. Yeah. Their house smart greed is pretty good too. Yeah, this is an A and B conversation. I'm oh, sorry. sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't worry. We're just salivating over here. Yeah, right. It's lunchtime. Me and Cardle over here. Good. Catch twenty three. I had their brunch for their Sunday. Mm-hmm. brunch for the first time wonderful and it was Loved wonderful it. it was really good so yes. those are those well, y'all are, are writing much this down okay. right write now. this down write this down okay because... for me i eat there three nights a week two to three nights a week fresh bites always get takeout you can dine in for sure but it's it so good it is uh lebanese food and it's so healthy and they're big into they have a big family it's a family-run business locally owned business mm-hmm. and they're big into hey we want to put good stuff in our kids bodies what's like it called fresh bites it's fresh lebanese bites. it's okay. Amazing. It is. Amazing. It's been a while since I've been there, but if I recall, you you will wait for your food because it is made fresh. to order, fresh, mm-hmm. ready. I mean, highest quality. They have a lamb there that's... Their lamb is out of this world. Yes. I always get their lamb, yeah. a lamb wrap. I get their chicken wrap. It's amazing. They do this baba ganoush and this uh, ground beef on top. All healthy, they all organic. I'm baba, baba ganoush. It's eggplant. I'm starting to salivate just talking about tight. it. I'm I also, I'm a big sushi person, so Zen and Samurai Blue are two regular spots for me. Oh, sure. Right? Sure. Right? No, absolutely. Okay. And then if you want to go down a little ways, a little bit out of West Chase, but you're almost heading into Oldsmar at that point, mm-hmm. town and country maybe. Um, so you have Rockstar Cafe. That's vegetarian. I ate it last night. This is the only bad thing about vegetarian. Now, it's so good for you. I like to do it one night a week at mm-hmm. least. But I dream about, like, steaks and hamburgers. <laughs> Any time I eat vegetarian? <laughs> like, last night I dreamt about hamburgers. Well, did you really? T- yes. Well, tomorrow I'll go to Burger 21. Yes. There you go. I know. But Rock Star Cafe, R-A-W-K Star Cafe. There you go. On Hillsborough. And Flamestone Grill, we both like that, too. Right. When we, Flamestone Grill, we talked about the uh, the table side guacamole. Guacamole. Yes. guacamole. Yes. Now, I've actually had that. That is pretty good. Mine's Delicious. a little better, you make but some it's mean still, guacamole too, it's so still you say. good. Yeah, I do. I'll bring and some in. Grill 54. Days. We like that too. Oh, Grill 54, Grill 54. absolutely. Dallas is a great guy out there. And, yes. And everything that goes Where on. was the place that you and I ate that had the wraps that time that I liked? Pretty good over there in that little complex next to the world of beer and all that stuff. Really? Uh, where it, was we at had, the, it was at the end, we I were, think. We were probably at Zen. That was Zen is that Sushi. that what it was? Mm. No, it wasn't a sushi place. Oh, you're it was talking across about from the sushi place. Spadini's, but the Great Spadini oh, closed man. already. Did it that, really? That building, that whole it's, building has had bad luck. It what? really has. Because mm-hmm. the Great Spadini Not was the whole building, amazing. But the, where, what a great where the Spadini was. Yeah. Some shady stuff was going on in there prior to that. Not when it was Spadini. Right, right. Okay. I don't know. It was in the newspaper. Oh, that's right. You know what I'm talking about, yes. right? Yes, it was the Greek place, right? Mm-hmm. Look at this. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. yes uh, Look at that. I believe they had All I know is my rap had some feta cheese in it. It was pretty good. Ah. Does that ring a bell? It does ring a okay. bell now. Yes. There you go. All right. Well, now you know. I think we're going to have to go run out and grab some lunch mm-hmm. now. Hungry. Because... Roxy Hungry over here Greek. Salivating. We forgot Hungry Greek. They're great too. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. Who? Oh, it's been a while since Hungry, Hungry Greek. Greek. It's a Greek, le- Greek yes, restaurant. Yes, I need to get really? there. All your spots in West known. Chase. Everything you need to know. Right. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> I would have never known Hence it was the name. Greek. <laughs> right. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching us. Don't forget to share us. Uh, thanks to the folks here at uh, Beasley Broadcast Group. Again, thanks to Rox for letting us use our studio. And, uh, Bill, thanks for coming in, man. Man, thank you for having me. It's been a great show. We'll see you guys in cyberspace. Bye-bye now.